So there it is, Boomer. It happened. Finally, Zach Wilson officially a New York Jet. We had to sit through insufferable music and a bunch of nonsense to finally get there. And then the Trevor Lawrence pick. (laughs) But it happened, man. And you know what? He gets to go from the NFL draft to his junior cotillion. This kid looks like he's (laughs) freaking 14 years old. But hopefully he's the guy. You know what, Gio, given my own personal experience with the NFL draft back in 1984, I'm happy for all these kids. You know, to see these kids being drafted where they are expected to be drafted, especially Zach Wilson, it's great for him. You know, the interesting thing will be whether or not he, who's been in a bubble out there in Utah for 21 years, is going to be able to accept what is going on here in New York and the enormous responsibility that comes with being the quarterback of the New York Jets. The good thing, and you and I have been talking about this for months now, whoever the Jets selected as their next quarterback, at least that quarterback was going to step into what I consider right now a stable situation between the general manager and the coach, and he's going to step into a great offensive system, and it should take uh, uh, advantage of all of the different things that he brings to the Jets. And one of the things that he brings that nobody's really talking about is an inner confidence that he has that basically has struck Joe Douglas, Robert Sala, and everybody else covering this kid over the last two months found out just how committed he is to playing quarterback in the NFL, and that's a good thing for the Jets. This is where it gets real for Joe Douglas. Him and Zach Wilson are going to be tied together for the rest of their lives. Let's hope the Jets aren't picking another quarterback three years from now.